G'day everybody, it's me again. Bit of a Monday update. My head still isn't all there from the weekend. Um, me and Ed, Larry and uh, Trady Trev um, and Dave, Wicked XE, we all had the live stream on the weekend and I ended up drinking for about at least four hours with those guys and then my mate Al came over and I kept drinking with him for at least another six hours, so uh, shattered. But uh, anyway, I did actually manage to get some work done. Managed to clean up the yard a bit. It's not so messy. So much shit everywhere. I found some bits and pieces. Uh, a couple of things I was mucking around with on the weekend. And I still haven't found an igniter for that heater. I haven't really looked. Um, I've got this idea anyway. I've got this uh, DC motor. And I've got this 2.5 horsepower petrol engine. They're almost the same shape, shaft size. And when you put them next to each other... They kind of almost sit at the right height already. So I think I'm going to make up a little metal, uh, like a framework to hold on to the motor and to hold on to the electric motor or the uh, engine and the motor. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to hook them up and hopefully it'll run the right way. Uh, maybe I should look at that first, but anyway, uh, I'm going to muck around with that. I will we'll be doing a video on that as I build it. So one of the ones I've been wanting to do for some time but haven't got around to. Um, another thing I was mucking around with on the weekend was this refrigeration setup. Now, all I basically do is just, you know, dunk the evaporator coil in the ice and uh, in the water and it starts freezing up. And, uh, I'm going to leave this running and see how much of an ice donut I can get going on in that coil. Um, the compressor does get rather warm right now, it's really cold. Um, it's only been running for a couple of minutes. Now, the return from the coil is actually cold. So I'm led to believe that that should be somewhat cooling the internals of the compressor. So very good. Leave that running for a while, show you the results. And yeah, apart from that, just like I said, clean up. Um, pull the battery out the little mirror and it's all ready. I've just got to pull the carby off and have a look at that. Uh, that that's going to be trouble. That carburetor is going to be trouble, I just know it. Uh, I found another old portable TV. Oh, it's been kicking around for a while. It's got an old... Uh, AC style flyback in it with a tripler attached on the outside. I'm gonna have a muck around with that. Not sure how they work, I've never really played with one. Trash that TV, got the flyback out of it, that's inside at the moment. Um, surprisingly big output from a surprisingly small flyback, I'll show you that one too. And uh, apart from that, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for listening to us all get drunk and talk shit on the weekend. And uh, yeah, much more to come.